Now the warrior robots in disguise are in their own action-packed Transformer comic on sale now from Marvel Comics. Thanks for watching. Like and comment. And don't forget to subscribe. Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us and for this special video showcase we're going to once again be returning to the Marvel UK Transformers comic. What we're going to do for the first couple of minutes or so is a very quick review, flicking from cover to cover, stopping at anything that's interesting like letters, pages, adverts and fact files. After that we'll come right back to the beginning, I'm going to zoom in for you and give you the opportunity if you'd like to read the comic for yourself. As you can see we're up to issue 238. This originally came out on the 7th of October 1989 and it was 40 pence. So we've got three stories going on, two Transformers and one Action Force. The first is an American one written by Bob Budiansky. And although it's a bit of a strange story, you can see exactly why they did it. It would have been very, very current at this particular time with the WWF being massive. That was, of course, the World Wrestling Federation before it changed to WWE. We've got Road Handler who's the interplanetary wrestling champion, as you can see, because the MicroMaster Autobots are small enough to be able to basically do that, interact really well with the humans. However, of course, the Decepticons have always got other ideas. Lord Zarek is here with the Airstrike Patrol, and they are basically just setting up Road Handler because Road Handler's using his publicity for good to make everybody realize that the Autobots are good and the Decepticons are bad. So his scheming plan is to kidnap Road Handler's fan club so that the Airstrike Patrol can win. Uh, but at the meantime, it looks like the Autobots are going to, I suppose, put a stop to that as well. But you can read it for yourself in a second. Whereas we've got the B story. This is Simon Furman, UK writer, and this is a continuation, uh, a survival run it's now called. This is Carnivac who's escaping from the Decepticons um, because they think he's completely defected towards the Autobots. And it's just exactly that. They're just chasing him, hunting him down. Um, and the Autobots don't agree to go and help him apart from Catala, isn't it? Yeah, Catala who just decides to go off and help. Again, you can read that for yourself. They're very short. There's only five pages in each of them. Then we've got Combat Colin, which I know people like to read. So if I say pause that there, there's the first part. And pause it there for the second part. The third story is Action Force. Or oh, that was what he was known as. G.I. Joe was known as in the UK. I apologise for this. I know people like to read this. But you can see for yourself that the colour scheme they chose is awful. But there are the first two letters if you want to pause and zoom in for that. And then there is the final one. Right, Action Force, you can read it for yourself in a second, but then we go straight to the back page. We've got an advert for next week's there, and indeed do exactly what I did. I could take the coupon, and it was delivered to me each week. We've got more Action Force things there, which again was G.I. Joe, uh, the special club. So this must be obviously their collector's club. Right, I'm gonna be nice and quiet. You may want to slow the speed down, but I'd suggest muting your microphone in case there's any background noise. Here you go, you can read it for yourself. On to the UK story.
And as requested, here's Action Force as well. And this concludes issue 238. Next issue in a couple of days.